Welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to take a look at the effects menu. We have already taken a look at the capture menu in a previous video. So if you open the effects menu, you are going to see three options. The first is going to be for adding a system stamp. The next is going to be for adding a caption. Now the other is going to be for adding mouse click sounds and then the options. Now if you go to the options, that will actually control how you'll use these two. So we're going to take a look at the options menu first because that will tell us how we control these two portions of the menu. When you open up the options menu, you're going to see that there is a certain way that you can actually dictate how you want the timestamp to appear. And you can actually have the elapsed time to appear. You can take out the time and date. So you can customize this. You can also customize the date and time format. Now the other thing you can do is you can actually write a caption in that will appear in your video. So for example, we can write in a phrase. Okay, so I've written in here, create video with Camtasia 9, and then I can determine how that caption is going to appear in the video. So for example, I can determine if that caption is going to appear at the bottom of the video. You can control where it's going to appear. You can put it at the top, you can put it in the middle. You can also control what the font's going to be. So we can change the font here to something else that we like. We can change the text color as well as the background color or shadow color. But once we have something that we like, we can then click the OK button. And then we'll have a caption and then we will have the options determined for our timestamp. Now we can also control what the sound effects are going to be. And what this menu will do is it will determine how the mouse button sound is going to be. And so for example, if you click this button, you'll notice that there is a click. And you can actually determine how this is going to sound inside of your video. So once you have the combination that you like, you are going to click OK. And what this is going to do is now this is going to bring you back to the effects menu. And so now what we can do is we can determine if we want a system stamp to occur in the video. And we can do that by clicking this menu. And we can also determine whether or not we want a caption to occur. We can click that also. Or we can decide that we don't want either one of them and we can uncheck them. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in the next video when we'll talk about the tools menu of the recording toolbar.